Hey guys, welcome back to my kitchen. It's July here in Nova Scotia and that means harvest time. So today I'm just trying to get through a couple things really quickly. My fridge is extremely full and I know there are gonna be things that I need to bring in from the garden here shortly. I got these for zucchini in my CSA also, but this week. So I didn't have room for them in the fridge. I left them on the counter overnight. Um, but I want to get them preserved. I also have a recipe that I really like. It's called a blueberry zucchini snack cake. It does have in the recipe a lemon buttercream, but I find that these are also really, really good baked as a muffin. Um, they didn't have too much sugar um, or anything that was that different from a muffin recipe. So I've baked these as a muffin a few times. We really like them. So I'm going to do that today. If I have any extra, I'll measure out the zucchini in two cup portions and vacuum seal it just like I did with the celery to go in the freezer. I may also set some aside. I have made in the past some cheesy zucchini tots. Um, they're delicious and I don't often eat zucchini that is not baked. Um, so it was a, a good way to use it that wasn't a baked item. So these tops and bottoms will go to the chickens. They love zucchini, squash. I am cutting these all in half. I just want to make sure that the seeds inside aren't too big. I've made the mistake before of not checking and I had like seeds in my zucchini bread. It really wasn't very good. And because of that, it sat in the freezer for quite a long time. Also make them so they can fit in the food processor. that one fits in the food processor. So I've got all of these and you get the food processor set up and I'll take you over there. All right, so I got the food processor set up with the shredding blade. Um, we're just gonna pull this out far enough here. We can get the zucchini in the top. And yeah, this is a great time saving method in the kitchen. I certainly don't have the time or the energy to be sitting there with a box grater going through this. Um, and all of my food processor parts go in the dishwasher. And just like that, in a matter of seconds, really, I have four zucchini all shredded. I'm gonna take a break and then get a blueberry zucchini muffin batter mixed up so I can bake those. Anything that didn't perfectly shred, I know some people would take a box grater and shred this, chicken snacks. And in case you were worried I was throwing things on the floor, Chicken bucket lives in my kitchen this time of year. All right, so I've got my recipe for the cake. Um, and I'm gonna start with three large eggs, some oil, vanilla, and sugar. Um, I'm gonna use my paddle attachment. Now I just need to find some eggs. Okay, I added my three eggs. I've got a measuring cup here I've used for oil earlier. So I'm going to add my one cup of olive oil. It's what I have. I could be using vegetable oil or canola oil. But 
one tablespoon of vanilla, and two and a quarter cups of sugar. So I'm going to mix this and we'll get our zucchini ready. Okay, so that is well blended. We're adding two cups of shredded zucchini. With clean hands. Also setting aside a bowl of my dry ingredients, that's all blended together. We're doing three cups of flour. I'm using my Robin Hood all-purpose flour right now. So I do also have some whole white flour, but I've not quite found that that's what I'm looking for, for a cake or a really light muffin. Okay, so flour, some salt, some baking powder and baking soda, which I bought in bulk, so I've just got the mason jars. So I need one teaspoon of baking powder and a quarter teaspoon of baking soda. Spoon. doesn't have to be perfect you're just looking um, to get these items mixed enough so that you're not just getting a big clump of salt somewhere when you add these to your wet ingredients move the flour so you can see perfect you can see so I'm just going to slowly add this to the wet ingredients in the mixer going to get a pint of blueberries. They could be fresh. I don't have fresh right now. My blueberry bushes are just starting to set the first few ripe fruit um, and I think I found bear scat out there so hopefully we get some of the blueberries and not just the wildlife. Um, in this pint of blueberries we're going to toss it in a teaspoon of flour um, and why you do that is just so that the blueberries don't all clump together and immediately break apart when you add them to the mixture. Hey Siri, how many cups is one pint of blueberries? Two cups. One pint is two cups. Thanks Siri. Okay, flour to the bowl. And you literally just swirl them around. Or is that a fun noise rocket? So they're now coated in flour. Um, a lot of the time it advises just to mix them or fold them gently into the batter. And I think I'm actually going to do that today. I'm just going to get this finished. You know what? Why not? A little bit of flour still left here, so I'm going to let that mix in a bit. Alright, so 
is what our batter looks like currently. Not too exciting. Add those blueberries and fold them in. You're folding something you don't want to like stir like you're trying to you know whisk batter or any anything you just kind of want to gently mix them in So that's mixed well enough. Our oven um, is done preheating. Perfect. So I'm going to grab my muffin tins and we're going to get these baked up. Okay, so I'm just greasing my muffin tins. Um, sorry for the mess. Real life homesteading. This is just how my kitchen looks. Okay, so a quick tip or trick is to use a cookie scoop to fill your muffin pans. Um, this saves me a whole lot of time. I get a more consistent measurement um, in each muffin. I believe this is a one inch um, cookie scoop if anyone was wondering. So 24 muffins. And those are in the oven. So normally you would cook this in a 9 by 13 baking pan. I've got a chart for conversions. I'll try to link the printable if I can find it again. So it says that if you were doing a 9 by 13, the equivalent would be 21 to 28 cupcakes. I thought you were supposed to tell me the time. It's not helpful. Okay, so I found on the internet that a large muffin should take about 20 minutes. So that's what I have set on my oven timer. And we'll check those and I'll let you know how long they take. Alright, and this was the finished product after 30 minutes in my convection oven. They were ready. We certainly enjoyed them and I would love to share with you more recipes on how we're preserving the harvest here in the future. If you like this content, please make sure to like and subscribe and I'll catch you on the next one.